Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, here we're going to deal with that repeater root case for degree to recurrence relations. And if you don't understand what I talk about at the start of this video, then you should watch uh, the previous examples. In particular, watch the video on example zero. Now, recall that any degree to recurrence relation uh, will have to have a quadratic characteristic equation. And this here is the general form of the quadratic characteristic equation for any degree to recurrence relation. And since here we're dealing with the repeated root case, it means that this quadratic can only have one root. And let's call that one root r sub zero, yeah? Okay, cool. Then, then uh, the sequence a sub n is a solution to this uh, degree to uh, recurrence relation in general. And the repeated root case, if and only if, the sequence a sub n assumes the following form. And so this is the theorem that allows you to deal with uh, repeated roots for quadratic characteristic equations when, of course, dealing with degree two recurrence relations. Yeah? Okay, 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 okay. Now, in example five, uh, we're going to look at a generalized version of this theorem. So this theorem is a special case of the theorem in example five. Yeah? Okay, okay. Um, now, let's demonstrate this theorem with a particular... Uh, example and so suppose that we're trying to solve this degree to recurrence relation and we're given that a0 is 1 and a1 is 6 so we're seeking a particular solution yeah okay uh, first uh, for this degree to recurrence relation the characteristic equation is going to have to be this quadratic and clearly this quadratic has only one root and that root is 3 right so that means r sub 0 is 3 and with the theorem above that means, in turn, that the solution has to be like this. So 3 here and 3 here in place of R0 there and R0 there. Uh, now, if we were not told that A0 is 1 and A1 is 6, so if we're seeking for just a general solution to this uh, degree 2 recurrence relation, we'd be done here. But since we know A0 is 1 and A1 is 6, then uh, we're seeking to solve for alpha and beta and therefore find the particular solution. Well, fine. Let's use the fact that A0 is 1 to see that alpha has to be uh, 1. And alpha has to be 1 because, well, if A0 is 1, that means n is 0. So we have A0 on the left, 1 equals with n 0. The right side will be alpha times 3 to the 0. That's alpha plus beta times 0 times, who cares? Okay, so that just says 1 is equal to alpha. All right. And... Uh, using the fact that a1 is 6, we could write that 6 is equal to, well, that means n is 1 now, so this right-hand side will be alpha times 3 to the first plus beta times 1 times 3 to the first. And cleaned up, this will say that 6 is equal to uh, 3 alpha plus 3 beta. And if we cut this equation in half, it will say that 2 is equal to alpha plus beta. Knowing alpha is 1, that means beta is 1, right? And therefore, this particular uh, recurrence a relation of degree two has this particular solution. Yeah. Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching examples four and five to follow.